Hello everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here. Welcome back to our Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough as Yan Bai Hu, the White Tiger, who is up here in the northwest of China, currently battling against Ma Chao, whom we have a mercenary contract with that will expire soon, so we'll probably want to renew it, even though we are not turning over any territory to the contract holder. I think what we're trying to do is occupy this northwest area of China. Now, before we get going here, let's uh, let's just go ahead and look through these things real quick. Yes, mission success. We have reached the faction rank bandit leader. That was last episode. Last episode, and now we have a new mission to become an emperor of China. Gong Sun Kong demanded a guarantee of autonomy from Duchy of Song, and Chu Gong declared war on Wen Shu. Uh, we do have a few buildings that are complete. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pop over and look at those. I was just also looking at the character court. I do have some fun things I'd like to do. Some fun things. Uh, if we look in here, we have minus five public order from our settlement. So now our public order is trending down. That's that's actually kind of nice. And it says, okay, negative factors from population and then from buildings. So minus 15 total. Uh, so then what we would want is some sort of we want our public order to be zero like we, that's where we want it to stop and i don't think so earlier in the campaign i was thinking we needed to uh, lower our public order which now we're doing but now we've lowered it too much but i do want to have a rank 10 city so is there a way These give public order, right? Okay, so maybe if we unlock a building slot and build a granary, that could work. But then uh, going back to administration, we're already at five slots. So like once we build the granary here, that's it. Like we're all done. There's nothing else we can build. So we can't really convert this into a major you know, economic center or anything like that. Oh boy, it's uh, it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. And then what is this again? The preparatory camp. So like if we were to switch it, do any of these provide public order? I thought one of them did. Three public order. Also provides loot and population growth. So I mean, that's another way we could do that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, going back to our military building, this gives minus 10 public order in adjacent commanderies. And then so does the mustering grounds. Oh, the uh, minus five. So if we were to build those in the... Uh, where's my troops? Up here. If we were to build those in like the jade mine... I did the research rate in all of these. Yeah, our, our research rate is incredibly fast right now. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm going to continue with the research rate. But after we capture this territory, uh, the next territory that we capture, like if it's in the middle of something, then maybe we'll go for the one that lowers public order in adjacent enemy commanderies. Again, they have to be enemy commanderies. So... Uh, I don't know, but I mean, I could see that if you were to get like right in the center of an enemy territory, capture all the resource regions, and then build up your garrison building and the ones that lower public order, like just springing up rebellions all over the place. Uh, but I don't know, because the AI always has good public order bonuses. Now, there's another thing I want to do in here real quick before we go look at anything else. Uh, let's go to our spy actions, and I want to see if we can discredit a specific character. We can. And I want to discredit... Where is he in here? Much out. Um, hold on a sec. Oh, he's not in this faction. I don't know why I was thinking he was. Okay, I got confused. Uh, before I started recording, I went and I looked. 
because I want to recruit a second spy, and I saw that Gan Ning is in here. Oh, he's part of Sao Sao. Okay. Uh, well, should we spy against Sao Sao? You know what? Let's pick up. Let's pick up Gan Ning as a turncoat spy. All right, Sao Sao's uh, kind of small. He's on his way out. And then we'll get Gan Ning as part of our character pool, I think. So let's try this. Oh, I can do another spy. Um, okay, sure, let's do it. Uh, we have another legendary character here who's part of Bo Ping Zhu. And where is that? Where's Bo Ping Zhu? Uh, I'm not sure. That's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, it's not showing us where where she is. Okay. Well, here we go. We're going to deploy a spy against Bo Ping Zhu and Cao Cao. That cost us a pretty penny, and now we've gone slightly negative with our income. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Uh, one more thing I want to do in here. Is it Zhao Zhai, age 57 champion? Uh, most certainly a spy from Liu Kong to Qin Kuo, back to Liu Kong. Decent stuff, but look at the gear. So let's go ahead and recruit him. How you doing, dude? Expert of Academies. Yeah, I don't really care about that. And since we're almost certain this guy's a spy. Let's banish him and get some of that money back. Thanks for the gear. <laughs> That's kind of terrible. Okay, and then we have uh, characters that we can throw in here. So Pan Lin, who's married to one of our daughters, lowers character salary and increases diplomatic relations faction-wide, gets along with everybody. So we'll go ahead and add him in there. And then... Let's throw in... Our daughter, Yan Yanning, does not get along with Yan Yu. Yan Yu is becoming a bit of a problem. He does not get along with people. So what are we going to do about that? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we can move our characters here. Now, last episode, I thought that we had caught and killed Ma Chao, and that was going to put our spy, who's right here. The um, I think she's the faction heir, right? Is she the faction heir? No, she's not. Uh, the faction heir, he's got so few characters that somebody's going to become the regent. And she's been married into the family. She's married to Machow, I think. If we go and look at family trees. Uh, here's Bo Pingzhu right here. Uh, but we're curious about Machow. So she's married to Machow, and nobody else has come of age yet. So if we can kill Machow, I think she'll become the regent. And I had him cornered up here, but he, he survived. So uh, it just didn't work out. Now, the only person we don't get along with is... Okay, we don't get along with him either. And he doesn't get along with Yan Yu. Gosh, this is prickly. All right, Yan Yu. I hate to do this, but we just don't get along. Okay? We don't get along. So let's go ahead and bring Yen Bai Hu down. And I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see. I'm going to pop this guy out. Okay. And let's come out of encampment. Oh, really? You can only move that far. What, your movement's, like, blocked? 
Okay, let's put you two together. Do you get along? They don't hate each other. Okay, here we go. Now we can get you down here. So now you're merged in. Okay, I like it. Uh, we can't give you a a title, but we can give titles down here. So we have Patrol Commander. He's already really excited, really happy. So we don't need this on him anymore. Constellation gives what? And it's really for Sentinels. 25% melee damage, own army. Master's Leather. I think you can wear that. Yeah, but like I think you're a spy and you're going you're gonna to skedaddle on out of here. So I want to wait a few more turns before we assign anything super awesome to him. So let's go back over to our strategist here. Now that provides cunning. We don't have any special armor. I'm not going to give him the sword, so I, I guess he's he's good the way he is. Cunning and authority. Oh, we don't have any crossbows, so that's not going to help us out here. What is the dragon's storm? 25% range damage. Wow, Waking Dragon. I think I had that in my Huangxiao playthrough. Cutting and Satisfaction. Um, big boost to ambushing. So let's go ahead and give him that. And then what do we have here? Increases rate of wall and settlement damage during sieges. Own army. And it provides expertise and resolve, which is kind of in line with, with what we'd want them to have anyways. So are any of these other items better? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I I think I like what we have. And then we're just waiting on some of these troops to come back. Uh, Bandit gang, bandit gang. I think we want to replace them. These are bandit hunters. These are the White Tiger Raiders. Okay, the, the Bandit Gang, they're kind of our, our real shoddy troops. They got poor morale, right? What is their morale? 32 compared to... Well, Bandit Warriors got even worse morale, 27. Uh, but then these guys have 44... Uh, 31, so that's also poor morale. Eh, that's... Eh. Let's see. What could we get instead, though? That That's the big question. Like, what could we have instead, right? Uh, we have regular archers. We can get crossbows. I mean, I always like the White Tiger Raiders. They are good. Uh, horseback Huntsman Skirmishers, Grill Deployment Missile Attack. Wow, both of these have bad morale. I think maybe we want to get rid of these Hidden Axes. Gosh, I just don't know. How many missile units do we have in here? One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to switch. Uh, we'll be negative upkeep, though. I don't really want to be negative upkeep. Bandit hunters are 100 per turn. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to fiddle with his his retinue. I'm going to leave him. Uh, Yan by who, though? We could certainly do better with him. And he is a general of the left. Increased resolve, satisfaction, and recruitment cost. Melee evasion, own retinue. So we really want him to have a bunch of melee. Uh, you should have the item that... Increases damage from crossbows. And then what are these? White Tiger Raiders? Now nah, let's get crossbows. Yeah. And then since we have melee evasion for our own retinue here. Circle, hollow, square, wedge.
That's not bad. It's authority and satisfaction. So he's going to lose a little bit of his resolve and satisfaction. Okay, you know what? I'm going to unlock the formations. And then let's think about getting some good infantry in here. Yeah, we got reclaimers, heavy spears. Uh, we could do spear guard. Melee evasion. Yeah, let's do spear guard and where's the other one? Wait, what did I pick? Oh, that was the wrong unit. I want spear guard and spear guard. And then I want to get rid of this bandit gang. The UA tribesmen, they have 55% uh, missile block, 55% missile block. Okay. Uh, so then this unit and this unit, I think, I want to get some beastly infantry. No, I don't want the UA tribesmen. I'm thinking white tiger warriors. Yeah, white tiger warriors and white tiger warriors. Okay, so that's all straightened out down there. And people have been appointed. We have a bandit network technology that we can grab. Now, I cannot for the life of me remember which way I was going. Um, oh, darn. If I go to records, ancillary gain, living in harmony, spy activity battle, prisoner executed, killed in battle, trait gain. Please tell me like what I researched because I can't remember at all. I don't remember where I was going in here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Range damage, range firing rate. It might have been that. And it could have been this upkeep reduction. Uh, there's, a, there's two upkeep reductions in here. And then I have range damage and range firing rate. And the range damage and firing rate is not locked to any specific unit type. So let's just go ahead and grab that. I mean, it looks good. It's on par for what we're doing right now anyways. Minus 52. How? Why are you losing so much? Oh, because a unit transfer. Wow. Okay. Um, well, we don't want that. Uh, it's not changing. So I guess I'm just going to suffer that no matter what. Okay, that's that's cool. Well, I didn't realize that transferring units caused you to lose so much loot there. Uh, going back to our spy actions. Leak marching orders for... Is Machao on the list? Okay, he's not he's not up as a general yet. We want to go kill Machao like as quickly as we can. Oh, I can open up a trade agreement. Yes, thank you so much. Duchy of Wu, we've been pretty friendly with you uh throughout the campaign. This is not worth very much. Uh why is it worth so much with Sao Sao? Oh, boy. Well, I'm going to go with Duchy Awu first because uh, we've been friendly. And I'm just going to ask for a little extra payment here. Oh, it looks like he's going to give me quite a bit. He might even give me as much as a thousand. All right, I'll take 1100 and 396 per turn. Thank you very much. Can I get another trade agreement? No, I cannot. Can I get peace with Machao? Yes, I can. Uh, can I 
Make him a vassal. <laughs> Never in a million years would I take that deal. Create vassals. Now, if we were to vassalize, say, Sao Sao, we have to make peace with everyone that's at war with him. And that, that could be difficult. So I'm not going to do that. Win Shu. He's at war with Duchy of Song, Gong Sun Kong, Xing Ting Wan, Shu Gong. Uh, he's at war with some of our coalition members. No, thank you. Uh, what about Sao Jai? Small faction over here. At war with uh, Wang Long. No, I'm not feeling that. No way. Okay, let's just bounce out of here and I think end our turn. Oh, Chang'an, I have lots of construction available. Okay, first off, uh, we want banditry buildings. So 735. I don't know if I care about the food. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to convert this so I can build the, the other building, the bandit building. Jian'an. Uh, I think I want the bandit headquarters. We're doing okay with food. Yeah, we're doing okay with food. So, Bandit Headquarters, it is. Woodoo. Okay, yes. We need to um, prop this up with... Oh, I have assignments also. Darn it. Oh, man. I wish there was a way to see assignments that you could recruit from the uh, the court. Are there any sentinels in here that reduce construction time? Jing Long? Maybe. May randomly trigger superstitious events for their owning faction, melee evasion. Uh, I'm fairly certain that Zhang Zhen Long is a spy, but you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and recruit him and I'm gonna send him off to supervise construction over here. And then I'm going to send our daughter to, we have a silk trader, right? Okay. So she can boost our income from silk. This doesn't provide any income from silk. It's income from banditry. Hmm. Uh, what can I build in here? Uh, let's look at the military forges. Okay, so these these can spawn items. So we have armor, bows, and weapons. So maybe maybe we'll just go for a military forge for fun. Although the uh, the tribute well, we've got the tribute hall. The administration offices are fun too. I mean, it's all kind of fun. Increases our research rate. Uh, no, you know, I'm going to do the military forge. I want to see if we can spawn some items. And Shindu. Ah, yes, this is the uh, the same thing. So, which... Why can't I do this one? I need iron and artisans. Okay. And this is for bows. Uh, let's do weapons on this one. Let's do weapons. Okay, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Income is a little bit low, but we're we're overall pretty good. Uh, who owns our military contract? Real quick, Duchy of Song. And who owns all this? Let's let's just uh, double check here. Ownership. 
This is Duchy of Shuhan. He, he's quite strong. Let's talk to him real quick. Now, do we have any agreements with you? No, we don't. You're very friendly towards us. I want to make sure that we don't have any problems with you. So let's just let's just offer up non-aggression. Okay, they like that. What about military access? They like the non-aggression more. They are not at war with any of our coalition members that I can see. They're in alliance with Kong Rong, Diao Chan, and Lu Bu, though. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw a non-aggression pack. And I'm gonna ask for payment Just a one-time deal here. Wow, he's willing to give us so much for this. Oh, he's even got territory way down here. Okay, so we have not aggression with Duchy of Shuhan now. Uh, let's look at let's look at this real quick. So he owns this. This is Yu Zhang. And that's Luling. Kongrong owns this. How does Kongrong own this territory? Oh, there's Bo Pingju. Bo Pingju, Bo Pingju, Bo Pingju. So who owns all this? Wang Ling. And this is okay. Let's zoom in down here and look. Uh, I wish I could see the commandery names. Okay, um, get me out of. Ah, there we go. Okay. So we have Luling, Luling. Now, where did Kong Rong go? That's Wing Ling. Okay, so Kong Rong has the copper mine. Bo Ping Zhu, are you, are you at war with them? Because it would be nice if we could get them to stop fighting each other if they are. No, they're not at war. Uh, so let's... Let's see here. It doesn't even look like Lu Bei. Oh, because that's, that's the general. Lu Bei is... Okay. Uh, let's see. I kind of... I want to see if I can, like... Get this copper mine and then give it to Bo Ping Zhu. I can't trade any territory. So I guess we're not adjacent. That really kind of, it'd be cool if you could like trade territory on behalf of two factions. You know, kind of be a Jimmy Carter here, but it won't let you. All right, let's end our turn. And the uh, the reference to Jimmy Carter was just more of uh, his uh, his participation in negotiations in the in the Middle East during his presidency. You know, just being a um, a neutral third party to facilitate trade between two factions would be pretty would be a pretty cool diplomacy mechanic. Uh, because we've got Duchy of Shuhan and Kong Rong are down here, and they've got this like these just little tiny slivers of territory. And it would be nice if we could initiate trade between like Kongrong and Bo Ping Zhu and try to get the Kongrong to hand over that territory uh, to our coalition member. That would be that would be cool if you could do that kind of stuff. Faction succession, Cao Cao. Alliance of Lu Bu signed a peace treaty with Bo Ping Zhu. Oh, were they in, in an alliance war? Is that what it was? Han Empire signed a peace treaty with Lu Bu. When Tan signed a peace treaty with Zhe Zhao. Spy promoted government. Uh, Gan Ning is now a grand director. Spy promoted government. Jing Ying 
is now a chancellor. Finished some buildings and attrition. Darn it. Uh, precision is where we're going first, regardless of what you're doing. The administrator of Shindu, but also militarily deployed. Uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to go with composure for the fire arrows and night battles. Now let's, uh, let's come in here and look at this again. Cause I, I neglected to look at the Alliance war. So she was in a war, I think with those factions. So, but I can't do any trades here, huh? Now, why not? Why can I not trade territory? They're bordering us right here. I should be able to come in. Their domain needs to expand before they can offer lands beyond their capital commandery. So what, is he just like not high enough prestige? It's locked on his end, not our end. And then Duchy of Shuhan. We don't have any trades here. Their domain needs to expand before they can offer. I, I, I don't understand what's going on with those. Anybody else more likely to become a vassal right now? Not really. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Poyang. Okay, so we need to go way up here. This is where we suffered attrition. Let's go ahead and hole up in the city. And Yan Bai Hu and company. We're going to start cruising up this way. We need to, we need to run into Ma Chao. Okay, and then we'll be replenishing here next turn. We can go ahead here and pick the preparatory camp once again. And I'm going to do the further increased research rate. I'm going to increase... Uh, Post-battle loot, faction-wide. And that also reduces construction costs in here further. That's all of our building. So if I come down here and take Han Zhang, then I would have uh, this whole commandery. Are you at war with Duchy of Shuhan? Oh, you most likely are, aren't you? Yes, you are. So maybe, maybe um, Yan Yu's army should come through the mountain pass and lay siege over here. Uh, we're also negative income per turn right now. Okay, so we need to find somebody that is rich and poor in food. Dao Chan earns how much per turn? 1100. Ooh, Shu Gong. Right at zero food. Pretty uh pretty wealthy piggy bank. Let's see what we got in here. Let's offer him some food. Uh six food. How much are you making per turn? Quite a bit. We're we're probably more likely. Okay, he's not going to offset our our negative economy per turn, but maybe a lump sum would go a long way with him. Equal and poor, poor and very poor. Han Empire never trades for food. Duchy of Song. Okay, darn. 
Uh, Zhang Jiang could also be a choice here. Six food. 7,000 per turn. All right, we're trading with you. Um, okay, 725 per turn for 10 food. I'll do it. Rich and poor, uh, Wen Shu would have also been a good choice. No, nah, he's still got food. Oh, can I um, support his legitimacy, though? People don't like it when you do that, though. That's that's the problem. Uh, actually, not that many people are upset by it right now. So, uh, request regular payments. It's kind of hacky uh, leaving Win Shu alive. Because you can always come in and just... He'll always take this. Another 675 per turn, fine. And just like that, we're back up to 823. Uh, looking at our treasury here, um, I like the the reduced character salary, but the the satisfaction is really what I like. We're we're earning so little from our settlements; it's rather embarrassing. Uh, we do have these armies down here. Uh, they have lots of loot. Is both your your loot bags full? All right, let's um, let's share the spoils. That'll kick our income up a little bit higher too. So now we're up to two thousand. That's good. And you're not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything with you yet. Uh, poking back in here, I don't see anybody worthwhile. How far are we away from our next tier? Pretty far. And let's check our spies out because Gan Ning was promoted, as was Jing Ying. So, right, weren't you? He's a general. Uh, Jing Ying. Let's see if he's in the in the family tree at all. This was uh, Bo Ping Zhu, right? I think it was Bo Ping Zhu. Okay, so we don't see him in there. And then Gan Ning was Sao, Sao Pai. Is he in here anywhere? He's not. Uh, where could he be? He could, he could actually get married into Lady Beyond. It's possible. Okay, our undercover network with her is almost full. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and build undercover network here. Uh, they got a plus three penalty. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're earning 46 per turn, so let's build Undercover Network again. And next turn, he'll be back up to, like, 90. How about you? You are earning 31 per turn. And we'll build Undercover Network. And they don't have any penalties. Uh, let's check their faction here. Hua Jin. We could probably get Chin Mi to like leave the uh, the faction if we really cared about it, but I don't think that we do. Uh, yeah, we'll build undercover network once more with you, and we'll check back on our spies in the uh, in the next turn. Nothing else to do, right? Yeah.
Wow, Machow just doesn't even know what to do. Duchy of Shuhan, Vassalized Sao Jai. Ooh. Wang Lang, signed peace treaty with Sao Jai. Sao Pai signed peace treaty with Sao Jai. Oh, okay. So I was thinking that Sao Pai had died and Sao Jai was um, another, like, um, was the uh, the successor. Honor above all, Shu Sui, noble individual. Uh, increased satisfaction, faction wide. Yeah, we got someone coming back from assignment and character ranks have been gained. Okay, we're going to end this one here. When we come back in the next one, we're going to try to push up and actually get another battle against Machow if we can before his family comes of age. And we'll just keep building up our territories. And I can see now that there is an army down here, but it's small. We'll probably also recruit into Yan Yu's army and try to take Hanjong, the large city here. Because that's a good uh, good choke point to hold any passage through here up into this territory. So we're going to end this one here. I hope you're enjoying the videos and the series. You can always let me know if you are with content or with content with thumbs up and comments. My gosh. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one with hopefully some more action. Until then, you have yourself a good afternoon and take care.